What are you addicted to? Procrastinating. Quitting tomorrow. Alcohol. Shooting up cocaine. Crack. Heroin. Any and all opiate pills. Marijuana and nicotine. 10 years since my last drink. 20 since my last needle. 15 from any cocaine. 15 years from last opiates. 1 month from nicotine. And I still love me my weed. I don't smoke all day every day now. Even though it's legal. Maybe once a week tops. Now I am addicted to me. I'm freaking awesome. This made me smile. Keep it up. The internet. I've noticed that the few times I've had a prolonged outage. I get a severe increase in irritability and restlessness. Classic mild withdrawal symptoms. Yeah I found that when I first joined Facebook. Reddit and alcohol. This sounds like an interesting combination. Reddit. Yep. This is my new addiction. Sugar. Keep trying to cut back and add more veggies. But I keep going back to it. As it's the only thing that keeps me energized throughout the day. Music both performing it and listening to it. Username checks out. Sleep. Nicotine. And weed. Sleep. Coke. The drink not the powder. Well maybe both. Coke used to give me a headache as a kid but for whatever reason that side effect is long gone and now pretty much the only soda I drink coke or mtn do lol. Coffee. I drink milk coffee every day knowing well I'm lactose intolerant. Porn. It's so unhealthy and has ruined sex for me as a whole. I'm slowly going down from multiple times a day to sometimes just once or twice. But it's a long road. Pro tip. Just cut it off completely. I committed a. I am an alcoholic. It's becoming a serious problem to be honest. Hey dude you should pop on over to our stop drinking super supportive. Great community. If you're looking to slow down or stop or even need support when you're feeling down about it someone's always there. Anxiety. If I'm not anxious about something I will find something to be anxious about. Edit. I have a long term therapist and am a therapist myself. Anxiety is something I consistently work on. With which my relationship has changed over the years. I'm sad that this is relatable. Because I don't wish the anguish on anyone else. But that's one of the reasons I chose the job I did. It's the snake eating its own tail. Money. I got sober but now just work like a madman. Never enough. Big boobs and big butts. Definitely weed. I just went two weeks off no problem. I haven't been sober for the last week and a half since that first puff. Some people say it isn't addictive because you don't go through withdrawal like heroin or alcohol. The internet and masturbation. The dynamic duo. Self-harm. I've been struggling for years. But it'll pull through in the end. Been here. I use asphalt to help me avoid it now. Angry. Deal with anger in a healthy way. Books. My sister is addicted to books and doesn't even realize it. I know this is gonna sound weird but I'm addicted to the Nesquik dust like eating it lol. Port wine cheese spread on crackers. That sounds delicious. Reading ask Reddit posts at 3.25 am. Diet coke. Doctor. Sugar. Nicotine. Pain. Join the army. Toxic relationships 4 days clean whoop whoop. 2 weeks out from breaking it off. I was. Am. Addicted to this man who wouldn't see me as much as I wanted to see him. Nirvana when I was with him. Alcohol. Driving. Love taking road trips. Even if it's just around my city's 3 stroke 4 beltway. I guess I could say I'm addicted to wasting gas in my truck. Sex. Physical and emotional intimacy. After a while life just becomes difficult to enjoy without it. Reading. When I start a book it's almost like an obsession. I get so immersed in the world and the plot. The characters. The emotions. It's like I become a part of the book and vice versa. My emotions change and match to those of the characters in the books. My personality suddenly adapts and I get an urge to do something the main characters would do. It's like I can't do anything until I finish the book. Sometimes it feels like an addiction and I wonder if I should take a break but I just love it so much. Oh and also procrastinating. I'll do anything but the thing I actually have to do. I have went all day without eating because of books. I just sit in bed and read for 18 hours and am done and hungry. Nowadays I don't read 800 plus pages a day. But back then it was a very unhealthy habit. I think. Loneliness. It used to be other people medication. But 10 years sober. Alcohol. Valium. Cocaine. Opiates. Usually in that order. Content. I hate the fact that I have to find something to listen to or watch before brushing my teeth at night. Sugar. 
Studies have shown it's just as addicting as cocaine. Daydreaming about an alternate world where I was normal and I have hope for finding friends and a partner who loves me instead of people who merely tolerate my existence and only sleep with me cause they're desperate. I think I might actually have maladaptive daydreaming disorder because I spend most of my time in my head because I don't have any other coping mechanism. Masturbating. World of Warcraft. Drugs and fat asses on girls. Curling up in a ball naked in front of a space heater in the dark. Going outside and laying in snow. The natural grocer store. My favorite polished diner. Cheap great food. Downers. Speeding on buffalo trail. Using up candles in one week. The song in a bloom. The show the OA. Earth toned clothing. Going to bed early. Weed. V I N E G R. More specifically pickles. Minesweeper. Pepsi. Gambling. Iced tea. Lip balm. But not the chapstick wax bullshit. 12 step meetings. Scrolling through Ask Reddit. Kratom. I used that stuff for about 4 months a few years ago. My phone and Coca Cola has a lot of caffeine. Pretty much everything that triggers a dopamine response I'm addicted to. Fire. Nutella. Freaking Reddit. Two things. Private select chocolate ganache ice cream. And gum fuzzy curved plastic toothpicks. Breathing. Whenever I stop. Just have to do more. When I don't have it. I die. Disappointed face. Or dad jokes. One of those two. Nicotine. Diet coke. Can easily drink 6-8. Smaller. Bottles a day. Besides water I don't drink much else at the moment. Nicotine and the thought of her even speaking to me. Good black. Coffee. Wyoming powder for my snowboard and my beautiful wife's curves. Porn unfortunately. I'm trying to quit. Exercising and learning. Good old caffeine addiction probably like most of the people on reddit. This is something I was addicted to. Opioids. I started opioids at age 16. I lost my mum. I wanted to die. My depression was so bad at that time. The only thing keeping me alive was the high I got from opioids. It is nothing I have ever felt. The high from opioids made my brain warm. Like putting a warm towel on your brain. And I could not move. I had to lay down or else I would fall over. I was no longer thinking about the thoughts of death. For that moment. But like any unhealthy addiction it did not solve the true problem. I needed more and more mg of opioids to feel the same rush. I was changing as a person. I was no longer living. I had to change. I remember watching a video titled Turning 20 or 21 by Sneeko. This video showed me the stupidity of my addiction. I loved how he phrased his addiction to sex I go to a bar and meet some chick who and I her. And after 2 seconds I'm all sweaty and look like shoot. Freaking a girl I'll never see again. In a place I'll never be. What the frick am I doing with my life? And I'm a hypocrite because I'll go do the same shoot next week and be all woke about how you need to fend off sex. While being in the same freaking situation next week that shoot spoke to me. It was hard as frick going one day without opioids. But I'm glad I did. I'm now two years free. And I learned how to cope with my mother's death in a healthy manner. Nothing. Right now. I just choose to make bad decisions. Painkillers. I never want to admit it but I get addicted to painkillers really quickly. My wife actually hides my painkillers when I'm prescribed them in order so I won't overdose on them. Tearing demons apart in doom. TV I've watched most shows on Netflix. So many different animes. Loads of movies. And a lot of shows on Sky. I watch telly all day every day and do not get bored with it. Definitely a form of escapism for me that I've got addicted to. But I start work soon so hopefully being out all day will distract me and I can stop being addicted. We'll still prob spend 5 to 6 hours watching TV on Saturday and Sundays though. Breathing. I can't seem to give it up. My phone knows nothing else but Reddit. My new boyfriend lol. Coffee and depression. Chocolate. Being angry. When the anger finally dies down. I'm depressed. So I guess you could say I'm only alive out of spite lol. Blondes. Ice tea is my vice. My dad drank a diet peach snapple almost every day when I was little and I picked up the habit. I mostly drink diet. So it's not a huge health sink for me. And it's pretty cheap. Arizona is 99 cents. After all. But it does suck when it's been a while since I've had some. Oxygen. Nicotine. Caffeine and sleep. Pulling the hair out of my beard until there is a hole and then hating myself for it. Mocha decaf. Internet. For reasons. 
this gonna get buried but I'm addicted to and not limited to cat girls. Cat girl anime anything really that has to do with cat girls some people call it disturbing it's just something I like. Self harm. I'm now 23 days sober but furthest I've gotten is 4 months. Boston baked beans. Dr. Pepper. Easily. I am absolutely addicted to cracking my fingers. I think I'm double jointed. Or at least. I am able to crack my fingers. An unlimited amount of times. I have actively tried stopping before but I can't. This freaking up on my freaking phone. Weed. I know people say you can't get addicted. But I honestly am. I can hardly go more than a few days without it. Light. I have this thing where I hate any dark corners or shadows in my apartment. I am buying ultra bright fluorescent lights all along the ceiling in every room. I am no exaggerating when I say that my glasses change shade when all the lights are on. Sugar. Cars. Guitars. Music and art. Coffee. My phone. Sugar. Big time. Life. Edit. Misspelled meth. Work. What have you got? Love my wife's ass. Touching it. Looking at it. Spanking it. And having intercourse with it.